Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in like two to three weeks. That's pretty insane. I have been so busy this summer, school starting next week, and I'm like having a panic attack because I'm starting my freshman year of high school. And I'm like freaking out because it's a new school and some new kids and I'm just really scared. So I've been thinking about that lately and just with all that in my mind, I haven't gotten the feeling to be like, you know what, Brianna, you should make a video. But today I had that feeling, you know what, let's make a few videos for you guys because I miss you guys so, so much. And I noticed that the last video I uploaded, I've been getting a ton of views, so that means you guys really like that video. I forget what video it was though. I think it was uh, how to take a good selfie or um I forget guys. It's all good. Okay so anyways today I'm going to talk about my teeth because if you haven't noticed I actually got my braces off so I thought I would like kind of I keep hitting this. Every time I make a video I always hit this thing right here. Okay, so anyways, um, I thought I would kind of explain to you guys my experience with braces because I know every teenager now, not every teenager, but most of the teenagers now are getting braces and some of them are panicking because they don't know if it's going to hurt. I know I was like that because everybody's like, oh my god, it hurts so bad. Oh, and I, knowing me, I believe them and I was like having a panic attack. So I'm just going to explain to you guys my experience with braces. And I know I went a little crazy with my eye makeup. I never do eye makeup like this for YouTube videos where I'm just sitting down and talking. But today, I had that urge to, you know what, just do my makeup. So if it looked bad, I am really sorry. I was kind of like rushing because I gotta go pack. I am leaving to go on vacation for a few days. So don't mind that, and then my hair is actually down. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so anyways, let's just stop talking about me and go on to my braces experience. Okay, so I got my braces put on on January 21st of 2013, and I got them off on August 15th, 2014. So I had them on for about a year and a half, which is the average amount of time that you get your braces on is a year and a half, so not too, too bad. A lot of people ha get them off sooner because their teeth move faster or they get them off later because their teeth move slower or they have more work to do onto their teeth. But the average kind of range that you're supposed to have your um, braces is in at, no, not an hour, a year and a half, which is exactly 18 months. So, when I first got my braces, it did hurt a little bit um, for a few days. Actually, it hurt a lot, but I did take some Motrin for it. I tried to eat softer foods because it was really, really hard to eat. And so, I just stuck to the soft foods for a few days. I tried to eat with, you know, my um, braces. It was really hard to get my lips to adjust with the braces because, like, with braces, there's like this bumps on your teeth. So your lips have to adjust to it. So like when you smile or something, my lips would get caught in my braces. So I would like sit there and I'd try to put my lips back together. Cause you know, it's, it's hard cause your lips aren't used to it. But then after a while, um, your lips know, okay, go over the braces. And when you smile, it goes back over, okay? So like your lips begin to, you know, adjust to the braces. Um, with the foods, it was a little hard to eat certain things, especially with the things that you're not supposed to eat. I am going to admit, I did break some of the rules with foods that I wasn't supposed to eat. I'm pretty sure every teenager does. It's okay to do it once in a while. Just make sure none of the brackets fall off. Because one time I was eating a mint and I went to bite down and the back bracket fell off. And I was having a heart attack because I was afraid something bad was going to happen. Because I'm not the type of person that gets worked up over nothing. So just try to be careful as best as you can. Because it is a weird feeling when a bracket falls off. Especially like when you're like, oh god, what's going to happen to my teeth? So just try to... T <laughs> I can't even talk. So just try to stick to things that they say you can eat. Um, they do say not to eat chips. At least my orthodontist said that, but I still ate chips and nothing really bad happened. But just try to follow the rules, guys, because, like, it's going to be bad if your teeth get all messed up or something. So, yeah, just try to follow the rules. Um, also, make sure you do take care of your teeth. Flossing was the hardest thing, or for any person, flossing was the hardest thing to do with braces because you got to go um, under the wire and then it's just so, so hard. So, to be honest, I flossed for the first few few months and then I stopped flossing and I know that's bad but when I went to the dentist 
Um, um, last month, she told me, try to start flossing once you get your braces off, because I know it's a pain in the butt to floss with braces on. So try to floss, and if you give up, make sure you brush your teeth really good if you're not going to floss. That's all I have to say. Um, you want to brush your teeth really good because you don't want to have little blocks on your teeth from, like, like stains from your braces because like you don't want your teeth to be white when you got your braces on and then them to be yellow when you get your braces off and you have like little white blocks so try to avoid that um i was surprised that didn't happen to me because i was really bad about keeping my retainer not my retainer my braces um you know clean and stuff i mean i did brush my teeth don't get me wrong but with the whole flossing part people would freak me out and be like it turns your teeth yellow you're gonna have like little, little white spots in your teeth and i was like freaking out but surprisingly my teeth are white and when i got my braces off my teeth looked so good they barely looked even yellow at all i had no white spots i was just so proud of myself and um you know, it was it was really, really cool to get them off. So now I'm just going to explain to you what it feels like to get them off and how they, you know, do it. Um, every orthodontist, I'm pretty sure, does it differently. But at my orthodontist, they take little clipper things and they clip the braces off. I am going to warn you, on some teeth, it does hurt. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It does hurt a little bit on some teeth, depending. I don't know why it did, actually, but it just did. Um, some people say it doesn't hurt at all. But to me, on some teeth, it did hurt. Then what they do is they take, like, the, do you know the scrapers that they use to scrape off your teeth that did? at the dentist they take that and they scrape the glue off and then they take like a little another thing like a little clipper thing it's not really a clipper but then they scrape the glue off with that that hurts a little bit too depending on which teeth um, that you're most sensitive and then they take like a little razor not a razor but it's like a little buffing thing and um, I'm, I'm gonna warn you if it touches your cheek it will cut it and that happened to me multiple times and it hurt a little bit but it goes away and um it just buffs the glue off it smells terrible um it smells like um burning rubber and it's cold so if you have sensitive teeth it will bother you for a few seconds but just make sure you tell them like hey this hurts a little bit and they'll give you like a quick break i know when my orthodontist was doing that he was like are you okay i'm like yeah i'm fine my teeth aren't really sensitive so with that you know with them buffing that off it didn't hurt at all and i was like really surprised um, so I, I'm just letting you guys know it does hurt when you get them off a little bit, not extremely. I know people are different. It might not hurt some people. It might hurt really bad to some people, but to me it was kind of in the middle. It didn't hurt too, too bad. So then after you get your braces off, at least at my orth orthodontist, they take the molding things and they mold your teeth. And um, then you come back a few hours later. So my appointment was at 8.15 and I had to come back at like 1.45 to get my retainer. So you get your retainer on the same day depending where you go. Um, I ended up getting the clear retainer. I did not have any choice at all. My ortho, Just my orthodontist knew that I was starting my freshman year of high school and he didn't want me to have like a metal retainer. He wanted me to look pretty, I guess. So he gave me the clear um, retainer. It's kind of like Invisalign. Um, I am going to tell you guys that I'm not a huge fan of these at all. But one of the orthodontists told me that I can get the metal retainer free of charge. So I'm thinking about doing that, trying that out, and if I don't like it, then I'll go back to this. But as you can see, my favorite color is blue, because you, everything you see is blue, guys. It's bad. But anyways, so it's kind of like Invisalign, except it's not. Um, my orthodontist makes this retainer there. Um, they don't have to ship it out or anything. And um, the reason why I don't like this is because it does make your teeth sore, because it has a suction. Um, she was talking about how something it like suctions to your teeth so it does make them a little sore and when you take them out it feels like you're pulling your teeth out and i'm not a huge fan of it at all it does irritate my gums right here i don't know why i'm trying to talk and say that at the same time but it like irritates right here and um, so i gotta go back and see if they can like fix it or something so it won't bother me the bottom ones don't hurt the top ones hurt a little bit it does feel very tight so it will feel a little bit weird i'm also going to tell you that when you get your braces off for some people your teeth feel slimy and weird my teeth 
like they did feel weird at first the, the, on the first day the second day I was already used to it because I this multi like at first before I got my braces I actually had a retainer it wasn't this kind of retainer it was a metal retainer and then my teeth went back to crap so then they had to put me back on braces or put me on braces um so like I was already used to the feeling of like feeling my teeth after having something on them for a while if that makes sense um, so yeah, I didn't have a decision between the clear or the metal ones, but depending on which orthodontist you go to, you can get the metal ones for free, or they might just give you the metal ones because you um, really need the metal ones and you can't really use the clear ones for some reason. So I got to pick three cases. I got to pick one for here at my house and then one for school, and then I also have a pink one. Um, for my mouth guard, which I don't really use mouth guards, I know that's really bad, but I don't use mouth guards when I'm playing sports because they distract me. So um, they made me a mouth guard, like I was forced to, so they made me a mouth guard, and um, I probably won't use it, but I, I'm not going to use it, I know that for a fact, but they had to make it because they just had to. Um, so yeah guys, I think that is everything. Oh, also I just want to mention, if you want your teeth to be white, um, what I did after I got my braces off and I was waiting to get my retainer, I put on these whitening strips and you put these on for an hour and I actually did notice a difference. Uh, you're supposed to use them, you're supposed to use these an hour for four days and these are quite expensive. I think this was like $40, but you use the, you use this for an hour, um, for four days because there's four little, um, whitening strips in here. Um, again, I already used two, so I already had, I only have two left. What you do is you just take them out of the package, stick it on, leave it on for an hour, and that's pretty much it. But I do recommend these because I used them twice and I don't think I need to use them again. Because I don't want my teeth to be too white, I want them to look naturally white, if that makes sense. So if I have a little bit of yellow, whatever, because I want my teeth to look normal and not like white, white, white. Because then they'll look really bad. Um, in my opinion, I don't want to look fake. Um, so yeah guys, that completes this video. I apologize again for not uploading in a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big, big thumbs up. Comment some video requests down below. I really need some help because I don't know what other videos to make. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye!